Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Fire Force, which is on episode 14. Or you can call it NN no Shobotai on episode 14. This episode right here brings out more chaos, but if anything else, brings in a nice friendship. But despite certain misunderstandings. Well, let's just get this started. We have to it that um, Shinra himself... Um, and Arthur will later on take on a horned demon, which will be shown later in this episode. But something kind of happened, which I'll get to later. We see to it that Benny Maru and Conro end up having a small talk with each other, and Conro convinces Benny Maru to act. You know, which Benny Maru will use his use his fire powers or pyrokinetic powers to make a speech to the entire town, and he tells everyone to beat each other up. You know, because we're not gonna get our butts handed to a bunch of imposters whatsoever. And we see to it that everyone beats each other up, and even right now the Evangelius members are like being, being in shock right now. As for Shinra and Arthur, they end up taking on the Horned Inferno, which will be later on nicknamed the Demon by that bow girl. Which apparently, we see to it that Shinra is kind of freaking out somehow, and all of a sudden he ends up having some kind of hallucination, and this girl or bow girl, fire bow girl, ends up telling Shinra otherwise, you know, about like the Adala link he has and says like, your fires were never meant to save mankind but to destroy it. You should really join us and you don't belong to the fire force at all. You know, that kind of thing. And we see to it, of course, um, there are some other scenes with the other fire force eight, you know, going around trying to help that, help each other out and they end up finding the real twin sister. As for Benny Maru, he ends up taking on the horned inferno demon whatsoever and he seems like to me he's struggling a bit with it. Be, due to the fact of how hard it is, even Arthur even gives praise of how how hard his shell or skin is in terms of being an infernal, horned inferno, you know? And we see to it that eventually Shinra will later on take action again after Kunro asks Shinra for help because when Benny Maru flew the demon, fire demon, or horned inferno up into the sky, we see to it that um, the bow girl ends up shooting shooting a fire fire arrow to Benny Maru just to just to kill him once and for all. But Shinra, using everything he's got after being called by Conro to take action, he manage he manages to push the fire arrow away with some difficulty. Even after he was told like his fire powers are meant to destroy mankind, but he goes, no way, I'm gonna preserve it. I'm gonna save it all. And Benny Maru thanks Shinra for some help by letting him by asking him let me handle the rest. And he ends up using a move that Conro did on a, on an inferno like many years ago. And he defeats it like um, no tomorrow. And everything turns into a crimson moon somehow. We see to it that one of the guys who knows how to make people look similar or something. Is really jealous seeing how like um, how things are. But we see to it that the girl, the bow, the fireball girl says we have to retreat right now. And we got to like um, report this to the commander. Like there's another devil have been, been made you know of like um, in the same spot. And we see too as she she gives her final words to her deceased comrade by saying, your, your life was not for naught whatsoever. Benny Maru will later on be exhausted from his fight and Shinra will be the one having to save him. And, th and there will be a post credit scene involving like, um, what you may call it, um... Benny Maru ex exchanging sake cups with like, um, Obi and they end up having a little like, um, friendship friendship bond, you know, saying if you ever need any help, just give me a call, you know. And Shinra was actually surprised to see to it that he's actually smiling in a certain way and he's actually laughing and Benny Maru gets in a ticked off way while smiling says, what the heck are you laughing at, huh? And the episode ends up there. And preview of next episode, it looks like to me is there's going to be some kind of smack blacksmith being involved, I guess, but whatever the case may be, it's going to be, it possibly might be tense, but who knows. Anyways, um, I did my fair share of research or something. It looks like there'll be a new opening, a new ending for next episode, which I look forward to. I mean, like, um, I thought the new opening and ending was supposed to come many weeks ago, but I guess not yet in any other sense. But until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Afazero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!